Alright guys, so we're back for another Dokkan video. Got a pretty exciting one. Today we're showing off one of the first 8th anniversary LRs in the Boo Saga LR. I'm not I'm gonna refrain from calling this Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta because that's gonna take way too long. But we are doing this through the lens of the private server. I was unfortunate after around a thousand odd stones yesterday. I think I farmed around 150 to 200 stones more today. Still didn't pull either one of them, but it is what it is. So they are rainbow, they are level 10 links. In fact, everyone that you're seeing on this particular Team is Rainbow Level 10 Links. We've hopped into the first stage of the Wicked Bloodline Red Zone. So up against the Multiple Phase Freezer. We are using a double Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Vegeta lead. The reason is because just because this is this that this is the first video I'm doing with them, I want to try and use uh, you know them collectively. But for sure, um, actually, let's just give you the 12 key. But yeah, um, I will of course in future videos take them in under different leader skills. I don't really think we. I'll be honest, I don't like their team that much. I, I, the Power of Wishes is fine as a secondary leader skill. Unfortunately, it's their pro, their primary leader skill. I mean, you got like LR Piccolo on here, which is very good. But I feel like the, the rest of the team is lacking. And then, of course, Final Trump Card is a very bizarre team just because it's there's a lot of over in a flash and it's, it's not as actually good as you think it is. Right? I mean, AGL Gogeta is here. A lot of the Gogetas are here. A lot of the Vegitos are here. But, you know, a lot of those units now... Um, I would I would say are pretty old, or we need we need some more um, of these options, right? Now I'm not gonna do a breakdown of this unit straight away, right? In fact, what I'll do is we'll just recite parts of the passive as we go throughout the video because again, this is a very complex unit to understand. This is again my first uh, usage of this unit, so I don't understand fully how they work. Uh, but very quickly, right? 18 key, they're greatly raising defense. That's a permanent stack. 12 key, they're raising defense. Again, that's a permanent stack. If you have them in slot 1, they get an additional 100% defense and 1 key per key sphere obtained. And then if you dash them into slot 2, they get an extra bit of attack, right? I think it's 100% attack. Yeah, it's actually an additional 100% attack and then 2 uh, two extra key per key sphere obtained. So the thing with this uh, Goku and Vegeta unit is you want to, I think, activate the standby straight away, right? You standby for 5 turns. And then it says you gain one charge counter per key sphere obtained for all allies. Now, I was reading bits of their passive. It doesn't seem as if there's a limit to that, right? So, essentially, once you switch to standby, you can build up the charge infinitely. And I think, depending on the amount of charges that you're able to accumulate, the, the spirit bomb um, is going to hit incredibly, tremendously hard. Now, what I would find interesting about this unit is once you kind of... I don't say... I, I keep wanting to exchange, but once you stand by into the base Vegeta. He actually does, he performs no attacks. He does no damage, which is interesting. It's an interesting take on a unit. I, I must credit Dokkan for their ingenuity, but I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how that works out. The buffs, which state that they get 100% defense as the first attacker and then 100% attack as the second or third attacker. I think those are start a turn. So even though it looks like the, the, the defense hasn't kicked in or the attack hasn't kicked in and it would seem as if it's a multiplicative buff, I'm pretty sure that it's calced as a start a turn. All right, double digits, that's to be expected. Gohan's tanking, thank God. I mean, he's guarding, thank God. Uh, again, Nami Goku, he could be a bit of a, a problem, right? I, I've brought him along. I, I I don't know what I was thinking. Um, I'm just, I need to get that STR. The, I said the STR. We need to get the Super Saiyan format straight away. So 9.2 from you is not bad. These animations, by the way, are really sick looking. The first time that I'm seeing them properly. Yeah, I, lo I love the animations. They look so good. Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't that blast that Vegeta froze? Is that not from the Harudagon film? It might be. Maybe I'm misremembering or something. That kick as well. When you see Goku kind of fall backwards, it does look really clean. For sure. I definitely think the super attack animations look far better for this LR. Rather than um, the GTLR. I'm not saying the GTLR has bad animations. I think the Spirit Bomb is impeccable. But I think general just 12 and 18 keys. Far better on uh, this Boo Saga LR. And of course this Boo Saga LR is a bit more unique in the sense that they have a, um, like, standby charge counter, whereas the GTLR does not. Oh, are they had a KO screen? Oh. That kind of looks sick, by the way. <laughs> that Goku and Vegeta looking cold in that KO screen. Okay, not bad. Oh, 
Okay, that looks so clean. Okay, they get 200% defense. They guard all attacks for four turns from the start of turn. Randomly changes Keysphere's of a certain type to rainbow. They get 8% damage reduction per Keysphere obtained. And then he gets an additional 500% attack when performing a finishing attack. Now, I presume the finishing attack would be very similar to how we just activated the... Um, my brain. How we activated the... Uh, oh, my brain. Standby skill. There we go. Uh, but I'm not, into, I'm not entirely sure. Again, Vegeta's not going to take any damage. So we've got nothing to really worry about there. I mean, I do like this, right? Remember, Vegeta was, like, taking hits. He was taking quite a lot of hits from Kid Buu. So I like how Dokkan have kind of designed the unit. But it, it, we'll see if it works in practice. All right, Kaiken Goku, I, I think he'd be fine from a super. I think it, I think he could eat one reasonably well. It's funny, originally I was I was planning on taking this team into the Metal Cooler core stage of the resin, which is why he's on the team. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have him on it. But he can still look fairly strong, I think. Yeah, we're good. We've we got nothing to worry about. All right. We can't transform you. Okay, that's not that's not a problem. All right, so let's do... Oh, we want key shy of the 24 key. All right, that does suck. Uh, sure, we'll do this. I... Look, I want to be greedy. We need to get a stack. We need to get at least a, a two stacks in for the gods. They haven't stacked at all. So like, if this is the end, like this is the end. I'm just thinking, should we just pop a ghost? Just to ensure they don't get whacked up here. Yeah, he's like, I'm going to pop a ghost. I, again, I don't want to, but I, I just, I don't want to die. <laughs> I've got limited time today. I haven't got too much time to just hop back in. So we'll, we'll pop a ghost. Actually, it's fine. We don't really need to see uh, the LR here in slot one tank. Okay, that's interesting. So we, we've almost maxed the gauge out, huh? Yeah, so yeah, finish attack one, finish attack two. Can be activated when charge counter is 38 or below. Hmm, I, I don't, I don't understand how we are supposed to activate it. When charge counter is 38 or below. So we should be able to activate it next turn, I think. If we want to. I'm not going to because um, we have four turns of the guard. Uh, uh, let's be honest, even without the guard. If we're getting damage reduction and we have 250% defense, I don't think we're going to die. What's also interesting about this Vegeta and Goku form is that they have tough as nails. Which is a very good link. 20% defense and 5% damage reduction, but like no one has it. I mean, that's also another reason why I bought the Goku and Piccolo on the team, because they have it, but it's a very bizarre link for Vegeta to have. I mean, again, it makes sense in line with the moment it's based from, but it's not a Vegeta-centric link, which is why it's funny. All right, let's move over to the next phase. Is this AGL final form? It is. Okay. All right, what is, your, what is Vegeta's defense? 681. Yeah, okay, yeah, so that's 681k defense. I think we collected three keys here, so he has 24% damage reduction. Oh, we're good. Uh, I, don't, I don't think we die with Namek Goku. Or the, the Goku and Piccolo. Yeah, double digits, nothing to worry about there. And of course, he's kind of... I wouldn't say he's stunned, but he can't attack. So that's why that kind of icon appeared. Again, guys, let me know what you guys think of this Goku and Vegeta unit. They're very interesting. They're very, very interesting. Can you please give me a double super? Namek Ku, Namek Goku. I wonder as well, for part two, are we getting a Omega and Kid Buu? Or are we getting a Namek Goku and potentially Tournament of Power Goku? Are you kidding me? No, 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 please. Oh, we're alive. I think we're alright. Like Goku and Piccolo's defense, they they're gonna get up to like 350 or something roughly. Oh uh, yeah, okay, they're good. I, uh, why was I worrying? Do this. I didn't create. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh damn it, Kaioken! All right, so this is interesting. I, I have we not have we not got the the, the buffs or the condition activated yet for the friend, or can we only activate once, or like one on the team? I am going to pop a sensor bean. We probably shouldn't. We should have just dashed the gods into slot three. I don't know why I'm being so greedy here. Hope this doesn't come back to bite me. Again, let me know. Maybe I'm reading that wrong. I mean, it would seem as if you're only allowed to activate one, which would then mean that running two of this is an inherent flaw in of itself. I mean, I'm not saying the unit is bad, but ideally, like, it's, if you're going to use this unit, they're, they're, I think they're designed to be a defensive powerhouse, right? In this form, and then we get, of course, the craziness uh, with the spirit bomb once you stand by. But if you can't stand by with the second one, I think running a, a double Buo, a Buo? <laughs> running a, a double Boo Saga LR team isn't the greatest team build. I mean, I wasn't really the biggest fan of their team anyway, as we discussed at the start. Final Trump card and Power of Wishes isn't the best leader skill. In fact, I would say that 
Out of all these anniversaries, is this one of the weakest anniversary leader skills ever? It might be. Certainly it might be. I th I'm actually glad that they're eating the super attack here, because Kai and Goku would get me killed. I, I, That was such a mistake from me. I don't know why I was doing that. <laughs> Double digits, okay. They're probably at like 800k defense, by the way, now. I'm hoping the guards can finish Freezer off here. That'd be great. And I think at this point as well, we have accumulated enough uh, charges to activate the to, act, to activate finish skill number two, the super spirit bomb. But I'm not sure. Can we activate in charge counter is 39 or above? But like, how do you know how much you're charging by? Does it tell us? I'm just trying to read that kit here. It doesn't say. Again, maybe I'm missing that. Maybe it's written somewhere and I'm not able to see it. But like, I I don't know like how many does, does it give you like one percent per one key sphere obtained? I'm just that's what I'm curious about. Crit. Yeah, we did crit, which is nice. Oh my god. This freezer hits impeccably hard. Oh, oh finally, we've got your transformation now. Thank god, huh? So we sh he should be fine. So, uh, what are we going to do? We'll, we'll, we'll just keep them in slot 1 again. I think ideally you'd actually want to dash them into slot 2 all the time, just because they get more key in slot 2, but of course the guards are, are not a slot 1 unit. I mean, to be fair, I've actually popped a Whis item, so I could, but uh, it, it's fine. We'll uh, we'll just keep them in slot one. So let's do this. Uh, we'll give this to the gods. We'll give that to the gods. And then, yeah, Ultima Gohan can have these STR key spheres. Okay. Is that... Are we close to the charge? Okay, we're not... We're nowhere close to the charge counter. Okay. So we've... Uh, we've. How would you best, like, term this? Like, I've already stood by with Vegeta. I've already stand by into Vegeta. That makes no sense. I'm just going to keep it with exchange. So I've already exchanged into Vegeta with the other one. Uh, there is, of course, I think three turns left after this one. Uh, once the charge counter appears on turn 12, we'll see for sure. But I may just pop the, the spirit bomb next turn. Unfortunately, it's not going to be the, the it's not going to be finish skill one, rather finish skill two, because we haven't uh, maxed out the charge counter. But that is fine. Uh, I think um, there's not too big of a deal in that. I, in fact, I don't think actually there's a change in the animations either, right? Other than the KO screen. And another OST as well. There is actually two different OSTs. Uh, from what I could tell, because uh, if you don't know, I upload the OSTs. For me, I, I think th th it's like finish skill 2. It, it goes straight into the main beat, whereas finish skill 1 has like a 5 second, 6 second build up, right? That's mainly what it is. I mean, there are probably other notable notable uh, differences, but that's what I could uh, hear for the first time listening to it. Uh, Gohan is fine. He's guarding. Uh, we got the item up as well. All right. So what do we want to do here? Actually, it probably isn't our best interest to pop the Spirit Bomb, huh? I mean, here's the thing. I, I could cheat. Oh, I can't. I've already popped. I've already popped two Ghost Dushes. Why? Why, why did I pop Ghost Dushes? Okay. I mean, I, technically, I could cheat again. I could just pop a Whis. That'd pretty much make us invincible, and then we can see Finish Skill too. But I'm just wondering, is there a chance that Piccolo, this unit, and this unit, then finish off Freezer? He hasn't got, he hasn't got too many health bars left. I stand corrected. There is a different animation which plays. Okay. I mean, it makes... Okay, the reason why it confuses me is because it's called Finish Skill 1, right? So... Okay, so Finish Skill... Yeah, I mean, that makes sense, right? Because once... The Finish Skill... Finish Attack 1 is called Spirit Bomb, and Finish Attack 2 is called Super Spirit Bomb. Uh, okay, that makes sense. I mean, that was still a, a credible amount of damage. Remember, with Finish Attack 1, the temporary attack is 15% per charge counter accumulated causes ultimate damage and then we finish attack to its temporary 20 percent attack per charge counter accumulated and that causes super ultimate damage and i'm pretty sure the super ultimate multiplier is what really makes finish attack to hit incredibly hard so i think ideally uh, once you uh stand by into vegeta if you want to see the finish attack to or the ko screen with the super spirit bomb ideally you activate it when there's one turn left right but thank you for watching i don't really think we need to go any further up to 1 million defense uh, again, this is pretty much an experimentation type of video. I still don't just, like. I, I've just now finally understood how how they work. So again, bear with me. Uh, we'll have more videos to come using the private server. Let me know what you guys think of Goku and Vegeta in the comments below, and I'll catch you in the next one.